Welcome to the Table Builder tutorial series. In this video, we will take a look at some of the graphing and mapping features found in Census Table Builder. It is important to note that the graphs and maps can't be used for large tables of more than 10,000 cells. For more information on large tables, please refer to the tutorial on large tables. In the following examples, we will use a table displaying the number of males and females in each state and territory. First, let's look at graphs. For this example, we want to compare the percentage of people that are males and females in each state using a graph. Make sure row is selected from the drop down percentage menu. Now, click on the graph view tab. The graph window will appear. On the left hand side, there are options for changing what the graph displays. The top set of options allows us to change the type of graph that is displayed. These all have different uses. Let's use a column graph type. The second set of options allows us to change which axes the graph is focused on. We can select from either rows or columns. For this example, we will leave the option as row. The third option lets us hide or show the totals in the graph. By default, totals are hidden. Let's keep them hidden for now. The graph is now complete. We have a good visual representation of the data. This graph can be downloaded in either PDF or PNG format. Go to download in the top right of the screen, select a format and click go. This will download the file in your browser and you can print or save it for later use. Now let's take a look at the maps. From the table view screen, click on the map view tab to bring up the map window. As we selected all of the states of Australia, this map will be of the whole country. If you are looking at a smaller geographical area, just the area would be shown. We can zoom in and out using the buttons on the left hand side of the map, or by using the mouse wheel. To move around the map, click and hold the left mouse button and drag your cursor in the opposite direction to where you want to move. We can also switch between a street map, an aerial map, and a blank map using the drop down box found in the top right hand corner of the screen. The left hand panel is where we can see information about our map and change what it shows. Currently, the map is showing the percentage of females in each state. The field drop down menu allows us to change between the data items. The options below allow you to manipulate different parts of the map. Explore different options until you get the map that best suits your purpose. A map can be exported in either PDF or KMZ format. As with graphs, go to download in the top right of the screen. Select your format and click go. This will download the file in your browser where you can print or save it for later use. This concludes the Table Builder tutorial for graphs and maps.